This is uh, Dan Meyer with RCR Wireless News at the Telecom Council's Innovation Showcase here in California. And today I'm speaking with... Petri Houtens from Tupel. Great. Well, maybe give some uh, overview of the company, kind of what you guys uh, what you guys do. Okay, so we are about a two-year-old uh, startup. We're based in Bellevue in, in Washington. Okay. So, uh, so we come quite often here to, to Silicon Valley for the uh, Telecom Council events and so forth. So what we do is that we do a big data uh, a platform solution for the, the mobile operators. Well, actually not only mobile, but fixed, uh, fixed mm -hmm. as well. So um, our our system, uh, you could call it actually an operating system for the networks. Okay. So we combine the different data feeds coming from the from the network side and even from the social media to, to make advanced correlations and uh, and build uh, then then applications that solve specific problems that the operators have. So, so like like what's an example of a of an issue that they, okay. they might have? Actually, actually here in the in our demo table uh, uh, at the event uh, we have an application called Automatic Customer Complaint Resolve. Okay. So you take uh, your uh, your typical uh, mobile operator with uh, with a huge amount of people working on on making sure that the customer experience in good shape and so forth. But you know things happen. So uh, so the um, uh, the customers are calling calling for for their issues and it can take anywhere from 30 to 100 hours to to solve uh, uh, those those complaints, and it's a lot of manual work. Mm -hmm. But if you take the information uh, from different sources, uh, from the network and and so forth, from uh, uh, from CDRs and, and so forth, and you automate this process, you build a very uh, fancy logic uh, using using machine learning algorithms and so forth. So you can actually go from this. Uh, whatever uh, 60 hours mm -hmm. result time into into a minute or so and the accuracy of that is com completely in different level also because you have less of a dependency in the manual work uh, uh, that that people do so you you save costs mm -hmm. and you actually build much better customer service as well so the automation part of it it seems like a very important part of what you're then bringing to the table exactly. for the operator exactly. so what makes what you guys are doing maybe different from what might already be out there in the market in terms of automating this this process what's your what's your secret sauce what's your your main selling point to to a to a, to a company it's difficult to say because there is nothing like this <laughs> in the market <laughs> All right. Well, describe us. Mm. I mean, what makes you guys then that much better than everybody else out there? Well, it's um, it's actually the the back end of okay. the of the system. So anything that you develop when it comes to tools or, or so forth, eighty percent of the development actually goes into the back end. Mm -hmm. Twenty percent is the is the fancy part, the logic <laughs> part, and the algorithms and so forth. But if you build the back end really, really well, so you can repeat the uh, the uh, the development for those actual use cases or applications, that that's only twenty percent of the effort. Mm -hmm. So that's our secret sauce. We are very strong in architecting a a and, uh, and back-end uh, system. Do you guys have any examples of maybe this being used uh, either in a trial environment or by a carrier or somewhere commercially so far? Or is, this, or is this still kind of still new for you guys? It's not new, but okay. we, we can't tell. Uh, no, we've, maybe like a generic example of how yeah, this is happening. We are in, in, in pilots in, in several countries and we are also uh, engaging with uh, global partners to, uh, uh, to resell our solution uh, in, in other parts of the world. And it's like you said, targeted at both wireless telecom operators and also and, uh, wired yeah. ones. Yeah. Is yeah. it enterprises too, or mostly just the telecom operators at this point? That's a good question. Uh, okay. we, we actually know that the problem uh, space is the same. So have you ever uh, talked with the IT company when you have a problem? Same thing, right? Yes. Yeah, so there you go. So that's, that's your target then, is to go after those companies and say, yeah, hey, we yeah. can, we can help moment, out? At the moment, our subject matter expertise is, uh, is very strong on the, on the mobile and fixed, fixed networks. So, uh, um, so uh, we have a plan to, to look into the enterprise and even uh, utility markets as well. Again, the problem space is similar. Got it. I'm guessing in an event like this, you're able to kind of really tie into some quick meetings with companies that could probably use your service yeah. uh, in the market. I'm guessing this yeah. is in a, a very, yeah, very I good, think, good. I think meeting. we have done now uh, six meetings, and uh, we will be busy over the weekend uh, because uh, we got good leads. That's good. And, and then Telecom Council, it, it, it seems like they've been doing quite a bit with you guys, helping you yeah, kind well, of get, became a member. So yeah. yeah, it must be a good thing. But so far, so good working with them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Well, that sounds good. Well, hey, definitely appreciate the insight on that today. Thanks so much for the time. We appreciate okay. it. Okay. All right. Hey, thanks. Yeah, thanks so much. All right. Yeah. All right. This is uh, Dan Meyer with RCR Wireless News at the Telecom Council's Innovation Showcase.